welcome all in this lecture we are going to discuss the parallel form structure for the given iir filter system this is the learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to draw the parallel form realization structure for a given iir system a parallel form realization of an iir system can be obtained by performing a partial expansion of h of z is equal to c plus summation k equal to 1 to k a suffix k divided by 1 minus p suffix k z to the power minus 1 so let us call this one as equation number 1 where p suffix k they are the poles and a suffix k they are the coefficients in the partial fraction expansion and c is the constant and it is defined as bn divided by an the equation 1 can be written as h of z is equal to c plus a1 divided by 1 minus p1 z to the power minus 1 plus a2 divided by 1 minus p2 z to the power minus 1 plus and so on a k divided by 1 minus p k z to the power minus 1 so let us call this one as equation number 2 now h of z can be written as c plus h1 of z plus h2 of z plus and so on till h k of z so let us call this one as equation number 3 we know that h of z is nothing but y of z divided by x of z okay so now let us call this one as equation number 4 okay so let us use equation number 4 in equation number 3 here so this can be written as y of z divided by x of z is equal to c plus h1 of z plus h2 of z plus and so on h k of okay so let us call this one as equation number equation number 5 this can be simplified as y of z is equal to c plus x of z h1 of z 
plus x of z h2 of z plus so on x of z h k of z so let us call this one as equation number 6 now apply inverse z transform on equation number 6 we get y of n is equal to c here it will be x of z there will be a one x of z term here okay c into x of n plus x of n into h1 of n can be written as y1 of n similarly x of n into h2 of n can be written as y2 of n and so on this is y k of n okay so let us call this one as equation number 5 sorry equation number 7 now equation 4 can be realized as can be realized as x of n so this will be the input to the system so here it will be h1 of z here it will be h2 of z and this continues and here it will be h k of z okay so here we are going to get the output y of n here okay so we will connect these systems as shown in this figure okay so this is the parallel form structure realization for the given iir system let us take one example here so let us take this example realize the system given by difference equation y of n is equal to minus 0 0.1 y of n minus 1 plus 0 0.72 y of n minus 2 plus 0 0.7 x of n minus 0 0.252 x of n minus 2 in parallel form the system function is given as h of z is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.252 z to the power minus 2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 z to the power minus 1 minus 0 0.72 z to the power minus 2. We know that h of z can be written as c plus h1 of z plus h2 of z. Okay. Now, pause the video for some time and find out the values for c, h1 of z and h2 of z. Okay. I hope you have found out the values for C, H1 of Z and H2 of Z. Now C is equal to 0 0.35 and H1 of Z is equal to 0 0.206 divided by 1 plus 0 0.9 Z to the power minus 1 h2 of z is equal to 1 point sorry 0 0.144 divided by 1 minus 0 0.8 z to the power minus 1 now h1 of z and h2 of z 
can be realized in direct form 2. as shown below okay so h1 of z so this is h1 of z and uh, here the input will be x of n So here the coefficient will be minus 0 0.9 and here the coefficient will be 0 0.206 and here we will get the output y1 of n. Okay. So similarly h2 of z is equal to x1 of n input to this system. z inverse here the coefficient will be 0 0.8 and here the coefficient will be 0 0.144 okay so now we will put them in the places of h1 of z and h2 of z now the realization of h of z can be given as x of n here it will be 0 0.35 0 0.206 z inverse so here it will be minus 0 0.9 so here it will be 0 0.8 0 0.144 so this will be the final solution for the given problem statement these are the references thank you